we've got our wall framed and everybody's always curious about, well, how do you get diaphragmatic absorption in your wall? Well, look at this. This is a cabinet. Sides, back, we'll put a front on it, okay? So this is a cabinet. This is a, if you pulled this out and set it in your room, it would be a cabinet. So we have all these little cabinets in our wall. So what we could do is we can bust it up into 14 and a half inch spaces, and then we can put our carbon filters inside the stud space. And what we'll do is every stud space will be a different depth. So the filter will go in a space that's going to be a different depth. Okay, and it's all going to be tuned all the way across the wall. So how do we attach the filter to the wall? Real easy. Right through the stud. So some of the cavities will be 8 inch, some will be 10 inch. It'll just depend on what we're trying to do in the room size and volume. So that's what we're doing and that's kind of, that's how it works. Don't put any fill material in it because we need the air. There's a perforated absorber inside of a diaphragmatic. 